Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today I got my Buck City Breaker box. Uh, so you guys always see me use the same knife here. It's from Buck City Breaks. I do a lot of breaks with them. Great guys. Uh, they ship to Canada and the U.S. Uh, I think even overseas, so over to like Europe and stuff. But great guys, uh, good prices, and they have a thing, and it's kind of a loyalty program. Just trying to avoid showing my address not that it really matters um but they have a loyalty box so if you spend a certain amount of money nice packaging over here too um, if you spend a certain amount of money you get free packs now they can be anything you guys will see there's obviously some baseball i'm not a i like baseball but the baseball card whole situation is a little bit too much for me uh, to try to keep track keep track of it and all the prospects and stuff but you get free packs. So I got some Pokemon stuff here. I got some uh, Alan Ginter, Topps Chrome. I got some uh, other Topps Chrome. I got some Topps Baseball, some Update. Uh, what else I got in here? There's one that I'm really excited for. You got a 2021 Baseball Heritage, another Topps Update. And there we go, a pack of Mosaic Hobby. That's kind of what I'm the most interested in opening up for sure. Uh, and then in here, they usually throw a couple supplies. So you get some top loaders and some penny sleeves, stuff like that, some team bags. And then we get the breaker mat itself. So I'll put that down. And then on top of that, you get a breaker knife. That's not why I have like 30,000 breaker knives. It's because they send me a new one every time, every month. So throw that down there and we'll get to opening so the backdrop of the day uh is i'll leave the mosaic for the very end uh is my favorite buckeye uh it's joey bosa for the chargers so a couple of cards i've got over time uh the mosaic one i thought was kind of fitting gotta open a thing of mosaic and white mosaic is probably my favorite parallel by far so uh here we go if I'm missing something here, let me know. I'm not really sure. We got the Dodgers and the World Series champions. Jack Flaherty, Christian uh, Yelich, and a Chris Taylor. So I know most of the baseball stuff. Nothing too too you know crazy there. With the top Chrome there. Open up some update. I said this is all free it's just free loyalty they also give like a discount every month for you spend a certain amount you can use a discount code um if you hit a certain tier and you can get a certain percentage off all all the stuff you you know buy for for the rest of the, of the next month uh we got rodriguez we go we got bo bo bichette and there we go uh there we go what is that yanoa uh, Gonzalez, Reyes, Javier Baez, we got uh, some more guys, that's all he said. I'm going to kind of go through the baseball pretty quick, just because for me, I'm not a big, like I said, I like watching baseball, I've been to Blue Jays games, stuff like that, but it's just not uh not for me when it comes to cards, uh, for the most part. It's like Davies, Justin Williams. And there's obviously money to make in baseball cards, especially with the prospects and everything else. Um, but for me, there we go. We got a rookie. This is a silver. Is this numbered or anything? Not numbered. I think it's just a kind of refractor or silver. It doesn't say. There we go. One is of uh, a Seth Romero. So we go, put that over there. But I said, I just, I think when you collect cards, no matter what it is, I think you should have to have, I think you should have some passion for it, uh, you know, and, and enjoy it. And kind of if you're investing in anything, like invest in players that you like. That way, one way or another, if it goes up or down, at least you can say, okay, well, at least I like the guy or whatever. You're not if you're stuck with it. You're it is what it is. But um, I, don't know, I just 
I'm not in the hole just collect just to, to collect. Like I th feel like if you're gonna collect something, you should probably like it a little bit. Uh, Pete Alonso, that's kind of in that 70 tops update. Like I said, you guys can check them out. There's the website there. Some pretty good guys. Like I said, Chris, Adam, Jeff, and Hoover. So here we go. We got some uh, Alan and Ginter. Never open up this. Tops Chrome. See what we get. That's a nice looking card. Like the look of that. Uh, Marte. We got Gibson for the Cardinals. Oh, we got a mini too. That just fell out. Uh, Patino for the Rays. Nice looking card. And then we got a mini of Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. A little mini card. Numbered or anything? Nope. So there we go. A little mini of Sanchez. Put them off to the side. So we'll hit the tops chrome. It's a big, you got 13 cards. That obviously, and you can get all kinds of stuff. I, I've seen there's people, I think they got, uh, I think this month, people, some people got Spectra in their hobby pack. I think some people got um, Mosaic, obviously, for football. So, like I said, lots of options for people. How many cards are supposed to be in this? 13 cards? I guess that's 13 cards. Uh, this is all tops chrome. So, here we go. Uh, we get, there we go. Sanchez again. Doubling up on the Sanchez. We got Walker Bueller. We got a rookie of Ryan Weathers. Charlie Blackman. Kristen Yelich again. Nice look card. Sonny Gray. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins also. We got uh, Jake Arrieta. Matt Chapman. <laughs> oh, Beesbold. Uh, Puerto Rico, Juan Gonzalez, the Texas Rangers, created in 2005 at the age of 35, but played in the, was it Puerto Rican League, that was just said, Puerto Rico Baseball Federation in his hometown, there we go, there we go, Joey Bart, I think that's a decent name for this year, the Hollow, and then a Kevin Newmark. I think that Joey Bart's a decent name, though. So again, I don't know a whole lot about baseball when it comes to, like... I find baseball is just a whole other level. It's just... In baseball, you're investing in a guy that's going to be good in 10 years. Um, so it's like... I don't know if I want to wait 10 years to know if somebody's good and if I'm spending the money properly. So I'm going to not put something up there. Wait till we get to the last one. Um, if I hit someone with a mosaic, I'll put it up there, but... Show off the show off their website for a little bit longer here. Get some Pokemon. Like I said, so this is Evolving Skies. We get two packs. They do a little bit of Pokemon. Uh, usually some pack battles and stuff uh, rather than anything else. I literally just pulled that up the entire seam of that. Um, they usually do some, uh, well, I said some pack battles and stuff. So a little bit more riskier. They don't really do like a a break or, you know or personals and stuff of like that i think they probably would if somebody had a question but well you see that one so you have black i think the you want the white back so you're going to hit like a crazy one two three four yep there you go let me know at the pokemon tricks here uh we got a dark energy also the new pokemon game the girlfriend's got it it's really good uh just watching her play it's kind of a different take on it but snow leaf badge zuilus uh, nuzleaf dweeble hippopot hippopotas hippopotas uh zorua we got a psyduck we got a rufflet a scraggy a reverse hollow and a thievul so nothing too crazy in that one so this is gonna be a pretty much quicker episode 
Um, I do have PLL cards. I got a bunch of them beside me still to open up. So, I don't know. I got a bunch of these still to open. I'm trying to decide if I want to. Hey, if you guys hadn't checked it out, there's a big issue. I kind of go through it in the last video I spent uh, opening those cards. But essentially, if you ordered from Tops directly, you got a really good deal because you had a really good chance of hitting parallels. Because um, it was supposed to be an you know, pre-order of like 3,800 uh, packs and stuff. And from the looks of it, I'd say that they massively oversold it. Top sent out all their orders first. Um, so now anybody that's getting them from uh, the PLL store themselves, I think they might be up to like 20 pack, 20 parallels from what we've tracked, from other people have tracked on uh, Twitter and stuff. Like 20 parallels hit out of like well over... Pretty sure it's like close to a thousand packs now and or well over a thousand packs now and the hit rate was supposed to be like 58 percent of the packs were supposed to have a parallel in it and it's like 20 for a thousand so you can like a less than two percent for anybody that ordered from uh tops or from the pll store instead of tops directly so there we go we got an evolution bravery look we're just getting all the evolutions here of all the other ones Lucky Ice Pop, Lucky Ice Pop. Wow, today's uh, Woobat, Time Pole, Psyduck again, an Eevee, a Cutie Fly, a Reverse Hollow of that Zuilus, and a Stoutland. So no big Hollow, and here we go. My first taste of Mosaic for this year. I'm gonna try to get some out in the wild, obviously, but. You guys know how that goes, right? Some days it's good, some days it's it's rough for sure. So, see what we got here. We got. Uh, I said this is all free. These packs are not cheap, but I said, and obviously I could have I could have hit two packs of mosaic. I could have hit no packs of mosaic. You're not guaranteed. Uh, it's not like a um, a loyalty box from like uh, any of those hockey ones where you see that like you're guaranteed certain ones. This is just totally random. I could have got all Pokemon. I could have got all baseball. It's just, you know, it's all randomized. Uh, then he does it live for everybody. So uh, 15 cards in total here. Let's go. So we got Miles Garrett to start it off. We got Julio Jones, still in a Falcons uniform. I don't, it's really weird, like, to just have him in a Falcons uniform. Really weird. Uh, Jared Goff. We got Henry. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that. Big Ben. He had his, like, what, couple, like, two days of fame uh, to get celebrated before he goes into the, you know, obviously retired and stuff. Then, obviously, the Tom Brady news comes out. Also, obviously, Tom, you know, they weren't lying. Everyone's like, oh, how dare they say that Tom was retiring. There's, he's not retiring. Tom was retiring. He was just waiting for, like, time to, like, have his post ready, essentially. Uh, so, we got Big Ben. I'll stand by this till up forever. Philip Rivers was a better quarterback than Big Ben. Just... Is what it is. We have Eagles. We got a Jalen Rieger. Yeah, he said of all the second year receivers, you have to give me a Rieger. Um, we got a rookie. There we go. The color matching Kyle Pitts. I think it was my first Kyle Pitts card. Um, other than like, I guess, my first parallel of Kyle Pitts. There we go. The $11,000 man from Buck City Breaks. I'm waiting for that story to come out. But yeah, 11000 So here we go. We got a Pitts. We got a Rashad Bateman in the blue chips. We got a silver Patty Mahomes. It's a little, a little bit of a rough card now compared to it was like a couple days ago. But Patty Mahomes, still really good. Like I'm a Chargers fan through and through, but like you got to accept that like Patty Mahomes is very good. They're just going to have a a little bit of an issue now um, because now they got to obviously get his contract just keeps on going up. It was like $7 million. Now it's going to be like 35 then 45 and then like whatever it is. It goes up to like some crazy numbers here in the next few years. Uh, Tom Brady recently retired. We got man of the year. That's very fitting for, uh, for Chris over at Buck City Breaks. Just with the Jason Taylor. We got Josh Allen. He's a monster. We got a Jalen Waddle, another one fitting for Chris there at Bucksy Briggs. 
going to debut. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Evan McPherson. Kids got ice in his veins. And then a Dwayne Eskridge to finish it off. So pretty good. Um, we got a red Kyle Pitts. That's kind of the big hit for sure. But like I said, it's it's all free. I seen one guy got up, pulled a Mac Jones mosaic auto out of this uh, for him for his breaker box. So that's like a, for me, like in Canada here, I think it's like an eight hundred dollar card. So, but anyways, there's our our hit, which is once again pretty fitting uh, for Buck City breaks. Uh, it, you know, it, it is what it is. But they spent a lot of money on a Kyle Pitts card. I believe it's an XRC. And uh, the return on investment is probably not the best on that one. So it, it is what it is. Uh, once again, thanks to all the guys. Like I said, if you want to check them out, uh, just go to buckcitybreaks.com. You don't even have to buy anything. You just want to like go and sit in the chats. Uh, they're breaking right now uh, around supper time on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So great guys. Good website. Like good, good prices. They do PYTs, which is pick your team. They do random teams, so you just get a random card, you know, random team in the break, everything else. Um, but lots of options, or just come hang out in the chat. Uh, I'm usually in there talking to the guys, you know, talking about football, everything else. But, uh, anyways, hopefully everyone enjoyed this. And for Eric from the bench, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.